It's your boy Sam o Green, you know, 860. We staying in tune with Pop Out Artists. You know what time it is. Uh, look. I'm too young to be this wise. I'm ahead of my time. Ever since my father died, it's been harder to cry. When you go through a pain as hard as like a brother, sister, father, mother, you might get numb to it. You might be so shocked you can't even grieve, which is also another form of grieving. Try to reach out and talk to somebody though. You may you might be able to cry. We was destined to be this great. I know this now. So many niggas I grew up with don't fold it now. From the bottoms where roaches crawl and stomachs growl. This a concrete jungle. It's hard to make it out. If you're in my generation, class of 2016, 15, anything like that, you know the niggas we grew up with is never really the same that they is after high school. They either, now they gangbangers and then they fold, or they washed up gangbangers and then they fold. And more of the story is this street shit ain't for you. Stop, and then you gonna fold. And with that in itself, that's every hood, every ghetto. But most of us probably ain't have roaches in the house. I had roaches in my house, I had company coming over. That's the time they wanna pop out, you know what I'm saying? So all of that stuff, we went through it all, man. One false move and you could lose your life Trying to make it out the ghetto, that's my toughest fight I sold my soul to the devil, I'm trying to sell it twice So, alright So with the selling the soul thing I did not sell my soul But it's, The moral of the story Is that if you want it that bad You, you see what these rappers do You see what these rappers do I'm just, as, I'm just as dedicated, you see my hunger You feel that when I say it no comment, no more, and I ain't sell my soul. When it's all said and done, they gon' call me the truth. And I put that on my son that you can't walk in these shoes. And I could put it on my daughter that I'm riddled than you, motherfucker. I'm just steady, I'm just steady trying to cook stuff up for y'all. Make sure y'all really feel me every time. And as far as stepping in my shoes, I could really put it on my son. A lot of y'all would have probably folded. But at the same time, probably would have folded in a lot of other people's situations. We just gotta show gratitude for what we've been through. I always been that nigga, y'all just didn't know that Had to step up to that plate like my name was Bojack Niggas praying on my downfall, but they prayers get thrown back And I live everything I spit, you could go and quote that Yes, I always been that nigga But, it took a long time I used to hoop There's a lot of things I used to do I was really good at So I just was so good at certain things growing up I really always been that nigga Now I'm just rapping So now y'all really starting to understand that more I grew up in a household where I kinda had to do things myself for my little brother, I had to cook, do things like that when my dad wasn't able to at like a young age. So I just had to really learn how to be a man before you could really learn how to be a man before puberty and all of that. I've been feeling like I'm meek, been dreaming by the Maybach. Pull up to the dealership like where the fuck I pay at? I want to go to the dealership, tell them crackers where the fuck do I sign? Because when they see a brother, they going to automatically assume we don't got it like that, especially when we're looking at one of them Maybachs. I may have a white baby mom, but I still view crack as the same. Although, Katie, if you're watching this, I love you. I thank you for what you do for the kids. They must know I'm from the gutter or something right where the snake's at. Hit him where his face at. Homie, no, I don't play that. Trying to make his head spin. 360 without a wave cap. Y'all might be too young for this, but luckily my father put me on before he passed. If y'all ever saw In Living Color, you would know who homie the clown is. And you know homie don't play that. He'll whack you dead in your shit. So yeah, that's how I'm, that's what I'm on, man. Uh, the way I'm spitting should be up for discussion. I'm feeling top five. Niggas don't love you until you not alive. Self-explanatory. If you heard this right here, you know I'm really spitting. There's not too many spitting like this, especially under 25, like Herb said. I feel like I feel like you could put me in that same category. I just don't got the exposure yet. But when it's time, and when it is all said and done, y'all better not be saying that when I'm dead. I promise you that. The name of the song is called Dead or Alive. Usually I don't go to the stew on a full stomach. I get very nervous for some reason. I'm just that type of person. Like I get, I do, I, I go to the stew all the time, but I get nervous right before I hit the booth. I do not want to use the bathroom when it's my time to hit my hour or whatever the case may be. I always got to go first. So empty stomach for me when I record. If this song was the dance move, I would have to say the Dion Shuffle. If y'all know football, it's the high step basically. I'm, I'm, Highly positive this song was not a one take situation, only cause it is it is deep. Yeah, I'm not a singer, but 
it would sound exactly like the melody. Ooh, I would just need Janae to do that. And then as the song is ending, she just, in her soft little pretty voice, the, you know what I'm saying? Did that, did that melody for me, that's it. My girl gonna be mad as fuck I said that. The one thing I would change about the song is the ad-libs, cause I suck at ad-libs. So I, sometimes I don't be knowing what to say. It's situations where I pause a little too long. Uh, trust. I, other than that, I just repeat the shit I say at the end most of the time. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the main thing. I still try to get to it. The main message is that whether I'm breathing, and whether I'm, I'm not breathing, I'm still probably gonna spit harder than your favorite rapper. I got you.